Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with instructions for assembling the Matchbook gift box. It's basically a Matchbook gift box with a slip cover. This is the slip cover and this is where you would put the decorative layers. Pay attention to where those little circular notches are though to make sure that you line the papers up correctly. We'll put this together by applying glue to the tab on the side, folding over the other end and sticking it in place. Make sure it's fully stuck before moving on. Slip covers are really easy. Next we'll tackle the bow. It comes in four parts, so you have three, three key parts plus this small piece here. Start by shaping all of the tails on each piece. Just shape that around a, a round cylindrical pen or a tool or something. It doesn't really matter. It's just to give them a bit of shape and to break the fibres in the card. Then start with this squat piece. Apply glue to either end. Fold those under and stick in place. Next put a dab of glue in the centre and apply the longer thinner piece. Then apply glue to the centre on the back and bring in the tabs at either end of that thinner piece. And again hold those in place until they have fully stuck. Next we'll apply the glue to the centre of the tails and stick our bow on that. Then drop a dab of glue in the centre and apply that little rectangular piece so that it runs across the centre. Hold that in place until it's stuck and then apply glue to the little tails sticking out either side and fold those over and stick them in place. You don't need to be neat here as these bits won't be seen. That's our bow made, so we can pop that to one side and we'll come back to that later. Next up, for the shadow box that's forming the matchbox itself, just pay attention, the decorative direction of your paper will head towards the aperture. Now the pit that you cut out of the aperture, keep that and trim off about one or two millimetres from one long edge and one short edge. You can use scissors and, or a knife and a ruler or a guillotine for this. It doesn't matter, we just need to reduce the size of that a little bit. We'll come back to that in a minute. Next up, we're going to turn this main piece over and we're going to grab the four side panels for the little uh, aperture. Now there are two long and two short. Each piece though has a dashed line on one of the shorter tabs. Make sure you know which one this is because the fold of that tab is different to the rest, as you can see here. So we're going to apply glue to that tab and fix it so that the tab faces towards the outside edge of the shape and the fold line faces the inside aperture. Same again for the other larger piece, you're applying glue to the tab that has the dashed line within it and you're making sure that fold line comes into contact with the edge of the aperture. And then we're repeating that with these smaller pieces. They have extra tabs on the side and we'll come to those in a minute. Again, the fold line faces in towards the aperture or the hole in the shape. And again, you're only applying glue at this point to the tab that has the dashed score line cut within it. Next, we're going to apply glue to the two side tabs of one of the short ends. Then we're going to bring that up to meet its partner, the longer rectangle, 
and hold it in place until it's fully stuck. Same again for the other tab and then same again for the other short end. You can see how the larger tabs on the bottom of each of these pieces now faces in towards the aperture. That's what we want. Next we're going to apply glue to the two short tabs that face towards the top of this cross shape. Then we're going to bring them up to meet their partner side or their corresponding edge and we're going to hold that in place until it's fully stuck. If you find this a little bit fiddly you can of course use tweezers to reach in there and grab it to hold it until it's stuck. If you're using a book binding or a quick grab glue or a tape runner it's likely that you won't have to wait long. If you're using a basic PVA glue, you may have to hold that in place just a little bit longer as that's got a bit more moisture so it takes longer to dry. Next up we're going to the other end of that shape and applying glue to both of those short tabs and bringing up that back panel to meet it and holding it in place until it's fully stuck. If you need to, you can of course turn this on its side and use something long and flat like a ruler or a spatula to reach in and help press those tabs down. Now we're going to basically apply glue to all of the visible tabs that are left and then bring that top panel down and just wriggle everything in place and then push down and hold until it's fully stuck. So there we have the little matchbox drawer ready to go. Now the reason I kept this piece earlier and chopped off those little edges was to help conceal those tabs that are on the inside of the box just for a neater finish. This is optional, um, I just like it because it makes for a neater finish. Now, this long piece you might have been wondering what we're doing with, but we're basically forming a loop. So apply glue to one end, wrap it around your finger and hold it in place until it's stuck. Then we're going to grab the slip cover, apply a tiny dot of glue to the end of that loop and bring it in and position it or glue it on the inside of the upper edge. This is basically going to uh, form like a little pull tab and I'll show you that in a second. So what you would do is slip in the drawer. It might catch on that loop, just lift it up a little and it'll be fine. So now you can see you've got something to hold on to as you're pulling open the drawer. It's just a little touch but it makes a big difference. And finally it's up to you now how you decorate the box. You can of course just decorate it with the bow that we've just made or add your own embellishments. It's entirely up to you. Either way, I hope you enjoy making and creating these and I look forward to seeing what you make.